Before I go, uh, I mentioned being a nurse. Uh, I feel like no matter what you do, people always want to hook up. No matter what you do, people ask people hookups all the time. They be kind of extreme. Um, my mom's boyfriend, <laughs> he asked me if, for a stem cell transplant. And wait, he needs one, which is sad. What was messed up is the fact that he think that I could bring one home. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't want nothing I can put in my bag? <laughs> my mama asked me, hey, you think you could bring home a couple cases of flu shots for your sister baby shower? <laughs> you just gonna set a table up and you can just do your thing. Like, you want me to administer flu shots at the baby shower? <laughs> we can just put them in the gift bags if you don't want to give the shots out. <laughs> Uncle asked to bring home methadone. <laughs> like, Uncle Jerry, are you trying to get off heroin? <laughs> methadone is a drug he takes to get off of like heroin and other drugs. He's like, dog, these shit, I'm trying to get off these cigarettes. <laughs> but methadone help with heroin. Imagine what it could do for nicotine. <laughs> Not a point there. What you thinking, Uncle? You thinking? Thugs be asking me for extraordinary stuff. Had one dude, he's like, well, we've been dating for like three months now. You think you could bring your brother the clear machine home? The clear machine? He's like, yeah, ma, you know, the revive. <laughs> clear! <laughs> My name is Tequita. I have a sister named Shaquita. We not twins. <laughs> My brother's name is Tyrone. But then the baby of the family, right? The last one, Allison. <laughs> Y'all, my mama got clean and sober, that's what happened. <laughs> She was like, one of these kids gonna make it. <laughs> now, we're all successful, except Allison, she'll crack kids. <laughs> no, <laughs> we all have college degrees. Uh, it's only because of the way my mom raised us. My mom's actually 25 years clean and sober. Yeah. yeah. But whenever we would get out of line growing up, she would just threaten to relapse. <laughs> like, if I gotta come in that room one more time with your homework not done, somebody gonna bring me a belt. <laughs> and a syringe. She's like, come on, y'all do all my Come on, Allison, learn your arithmetic. <laughs> Allison was the bougie one. She thought she was better than us because she had the good name. <laughs> Mind her. I was like, look, you was one margarita away from being a marquita. So, <laughs> so I never realized how hard it was to be a single parent until I became one. Uh, I got a, uh, I got a little boy, two years old, bad as hell. <laughs> Y'all familiar with the terrible twos? Yeah. Oh my God! Like, so, like I want to kick him sometimes. Like, <laughs> Uh, he's a terrier mix. <laughs> so, so my ex, um, Antoine, spelled A N T O I. -E. <laughs> he got me a dog for my birthday. And when we broke up, like, I immediately turned into the stereotypical single parent because that's what I grew up watching. Like, I turned into my mom when my dad left. It's like, you know what, you can leave, but that don't mean you're not going to take care of your responsibility. I didn't do this by myself. I picked the dog up and told him he was going to be somebody. It was like, you don't let nobody tell you you're wrong. I tried to apply for EBT. Um, because when you're a single parent from where I go, that's the next step, you go get it. They, they denied me, I got pissed. Cause I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why my baby don't count for one? 
and for two, is it because he mixed? <laughs> I think from the day that broke my heart, y'all, uh, took Blue for a walk, and um, he was squatting to pee. You a boy, you supposed to lift your leg. If he had a man who's like, he would know that. I can't teach you how to be a man. <laughs> 